Back in my study at the Institute, the thought recorder Tori had returned to me sat idle on my desk. The orb seemed to be taunting me as I pondered what could have driven Selwyn into isolation. Years ago, back on Gaia, I was contacted by the part of my higher self that was once Selwyn. The great druid told me he had left all of his precious histories in the safe keeping of Taliesin, high druid of Britain, to give to me, Selwyn's chosen incarnation. Not one of the documents had mentioned Selwyn's time spent in isolation, nor what had driven him to it, and where other periods of Maelgwyn's reign were heavily documented, his rise to high king status was not even given a mention. Whatever it was that happened during this time, Selwyn sure didn't want it remembered, perhaps by me least of all. So, I reached out and took the thought recorder in hand. I have been blocking out these recollections since the Dark Ages, eh? I sat back in my seat and made myself comfortable. Sorry, Selwyn, it has to be done. I activated the play function and opened my mind to its data. The recording commenced with an oratory from Tory that overlaid a visual of a memory of presiding over a general meeting of the Allied Kingdoms of Britain. The rise of Maelgwyn to the status of High King of Britain began during the tenth year of his reign as King of Gwynedd, 529 AD, Gaia time. Aurelius Conan, son of Aurelius Caninus, king of Gwent Ishkoid, returned from studying in Italy the same year to assume the crown of Gwent Ishkoid. That year the Beltane Festival was hosted at Castle Dwyran in Dyfed. All the leaders from the surrounding kingdoms descended upon Vortipor, the protector of Dyfed, and his lovely wife, the Lady Kara to partake of their hospitality for the duration of the festival that would continue for several days. 